Is it a struggle to keep your house clean every day? Are you overwhelmed by the mess your kids make every day? I've got the perfect solution for you. Introducing... I have to give credit to my mom for that one. I told her my idea and she's the one who came up with Dust Busters. She's so witty. Thanks, Mom. Hi, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Sarah and I have four kids from the ages of eight to one. And this channel is all about homeschooling tips and mom life and traveling as a family. So if that interests you, go ahead and consider giving that subscribe button a click below and we're happy to have you. Chores. Okay, so when our first two kids were about four and two, I started to wonder, what kinds of chores should my kid be doing? Surely all of this housework is not just my and my husband's responsibility forever, right? Now, I don't know about you, but I grew up having chores. I don't remember us having something every single day, but on Saturdays, we'd have a pretty big list of things to get done. Now, since we homeschool, we have plenty of time on the weekdays for the kids to be doing chores. It also means that since we're home a lot, the kids are making way more messes than if they weren't home. So there's a lot to be cleaned up. So I started to wonder what are age appropriate chores for my child? So I figured this would be a helpful video to many moms out there to see what our kids are cleaning around the house at what ages. So today I'm sharing a list of what our kids' chores are. So you'll get to see chores for four-year-olds up to eight-year-olds. Now they each have daily responsibilities based on their age that they need to accomplish every day in order to help make our home run smoother. Now, I think it's really important for kids to have jobs in the home because even if they whine about it, it's a great lesson in good work ethic. Now, we don't pay them to do their chores because we want them to have a conscious and subconscious belief that because this is our home, we all are responsible for taking care of it and keeping it clean. I want them to understand how important their role is in contributing to the household running smoothly. And I talk to them about this. Um, we have to go over it every so often, but I talk to them about this in hopes that it will give their chores meaning and empower them to do them with a good attitude. Now, I still get some pushback, but it's typically short-lived and they accept their fate and move on and take care of their chores. You know, one day our kids won't live with us anymore and they're gonna have their own house to take care of. So this training is really important. I also point out to them how much mommy and daddy take care of and clean and the work that we do in order to pay for all the things because I want them to feel a sense of empathy that everything shouldn't fall on mommy and daddy's plate, that they can be a huge help to us by taking on these different chores. And we make sure we tell them that we really appreciate their teamwork and that it helps us tremendously. So without further ado, here are our chore charts. YouTube and Pinterest are full of great chore chart ideas for kids and lists of chores for kids by age. My husband actually made these chore charts in Pages, which is a Mac program, but you could literally just write a list on a piece of paper. Simple as that. Um, I like the look of these because we do put them on our fridge, so it's nice that they look neat and organized. I'm really not a clean freak. If you came to my house, you would attest to that but I do like a certain level of order and cleanliness. So both of the kids' chore charts have the same things on them. They're just alternating different days. So let's start at the top here. Before breakfast, if you've seen some other videos of mine, you may know this already, but the kids have to unload the dishwasher before they can eat their breakfast. <laughs> so uh, we have the dishwasher split into three sections and actually our four-year-old helps with this too. Uh, one kid will do silverware, one kid will do the bottom rack, and one kid will do the top rack. And that seems to work out pretty well. And really, we were having our kids at like two and a half and three years old already starting to put away like the little plastic kid dishes and even silverware 
Um, I remember putting Maggie up on the stool when she was two and her sorting out the silverware, which is a great little sorting project, and she loved it. What's great about starting kids early with chores is that they actually want to be helpful at that young, young age. It's when they get a little bit older that you start to get that whining and bad attitudes. So start them young. And then after lunch, they have two chores each day. One is in the kitchen, so either loading the dishwasher or vacuuming the kitchen. And then after that, at some point in the afternoon, we have these chores that end up repeating through the week. So on Monday, Maggie has to pick up the living room floor and then vacuum it. On Tuesday, she has to clean out the van, which that does not include vacuuming. I do have vacuuming out the van on Titus's chore chart though. clean the upstairs on Wednesday, which the upstairs room is our school room and there are a lot of toys and we have little kids. So that ends up getting pretty messy on the daily. On Thursday, she has to clean the backyard. So that can be balls on the ground or just random things that don't belong out there. Gotta pick those up. On Friday, again, picking up and back in the living room floor. On Saturday, we actually have special chores that are different each week. And those are things like dusting the furniture and baseboards or cleaning the window that's behind our kitchen, which gets really smudgy. Just random kind of spring cleany sort of things. I try to keep it to something that they can do within 15 minutes. They do have some other weekly chores that we didn't feel the need to write down, but um, every week they do have to fold and put away their own laundry. And this is something we started at age five. Um, it takes a lot of patience to train them how to fold clothes. I had to not be a perfectionist about it because they're not going to do it perfectly and that's okay. Honestly, my dislike for laundry is much higher than how much I care about how perfectly they do their folding. So it all works out. But yeah, the more they do it, the better they get at it. And it's just so helpful to me. Obviously, the more kids you have, the more laundry you have and the more help you need. So. This is super helpful to get the kids involved with laundry. And then the other thing that they help with is unloading and putting away the groceries every week. Even at three years old, they would help with that. And honestly, now that I have an eight, six, and four-year-old helping, we really get it put away pretty quickly. So I'm very thankful for their help with that. And occasionally I'll change up their charts based on their age and what I need help with. So if you've got some other ideas for chores for young kids, go ahead and leave that in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this has been helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you next time.